What's up you guys, it's Matt from Cypher Science and today we're talking about windmills. Now I've seen a lot of different people try to learn windmills throughout the years and I've given a lot of different tips, but it always seems to boil down to one of three things that are holding people back from learning the move. And we're gonna cover those coming up next. <laughs> Power as 
power through this as a whole. Now, the second one, as I mentioned, was a motor control issue, which means basically your nervous system just short circuits and close your legs when you try to do the motion. Now, one really good way of uh, working this is with what I call the belly bone drill. Um, it's this right here. So you start, uh, let's start on your back. So you start on your back, legs open, and you're just gonna sh shift under your belly, but you're gonna focus on keeping your legs open. And then back on your back, legs open, back on your belly, legs open, back on your back, legs open. And you're just gonna practice doing this, okay? And really focusing on keeping your legs as open as you can. Now, the better you train that, the more carryover is gonna have to when you perform your actual windmills. So practice those two things if you can't seem to keep your legs open, and I promise you, you'll see a lot more progress in your windmills. There you go, you guys, the three things that I see that hold people back the most when they're trying to learn their windmills. Now, before we go, I would implore you to check out uh, the world's greatest windmill drill that's also on my channel. It's probably one of the best windmill tools that I've ever learned, and one of the best pieces of brake technology that I've ever learned. And I break it down step by step in that video. Now, if you guys found this video helpful, please leave a like and hit that subscribe button. Check out all my other social medias in the description box. This is Matt from Cypher Science, and I'll see you guys next time.